Hi, welcome to my channel Everyday Space. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about SpaceX's next generation rocket, the BFR. So as you can see here, the BFR will be 118 meters tall with over 100 tons of payload to low Earth orbit. As we go to the Starship portion, it will have two actuated forward fins, being 55 meters in length with over 1,000 cubic meters of pressurized volume. As we head onto the back of the Starship, you will see that the Starship will have seven Raptor engines with three landing pads that also double as actuated aft fins. It will also have an aft cargo of 88 cubic meters in rocket ever built, making the second largest rocket, the Saturn V, only was 111 meters tall. So this was seven meters taller than the tallest rocket ever built. So as we could go into the Starship portion of the, of the second part of the video, you could see that the Starship had two actuated fins in the front and was 55 meters long. It also had a thousand cubic meters of pressurized volume. This would be where the 100 people would sit and most of the cargo would be. As we head down to the back of the Starship, we, ha we saw the seven Raptor engines, which each produced two mega newtons of thrust, making it 14 mega newtons of thrust, just the Starship. And then it had three landing pads, which also doubled as, as actuated aft fins, which helped it stabilized during Mars re-entry. As you can see here, the BFR will be the most capable rocket ever built in human history. It will have 150 tons to low Earth orbit. Even though it is the most powerful, it will also be the most cheapest rocket ever built. Because it is fully reusable, it will be even cheaper than their baby rocket, the Falcon 1. The Saturn V, as we saw in the last video, has 3,100 kilograms of thrust at liftoff, while compared to the BFR, just 5,400 kilograms of thrust. This makes the BFR almost one and a half times more powerful than the Saturn V. This is a major advantage when you want to go to the moon with 100 people. So the booster of the BFR will launch from Earth, and when, when it reaches orbit, the super heavy booster will then flip over and do a boost back burn to head back to its in intended launch site. Then the Starship will keep on going to its in intended destination. The intended destination would possibly be the moon or Mars, or it could just be delivering a satellite. So the intended purpose of the okay. BFR was to mainly colonize the moon, which for a fun fact was one of SpaceX was one of SpaceX's CEO's dreams as a kid. So they were going to colonize the Mars with the BFR. And please note that the BFR that and all the facts that I shared in this video were the 2018 version of the BFR. And we are hoping to get updates from SpaceX next week about the newest update variant of the BFR. So thanks for watching and if you like more of my videos, please do subscribe.